Hello everyone and welcome to my brand new series of my Pokemon Heart Gold Nuzlocke. <clears throat> um, so this is episode one and we are going to be going f taking our Nuzlocke adventure into the Johto region. Now with Heart Gold we have this um, site situation where we can either go to the league and then call it a day after that or we go to um uh red and then call it the end of the nuzlocke there my intention is to go to red so this is going to be a rather long series anyway um but um i i think this is going to be a good adventure though gonna enjoy it we're gonna make some new nuzlocke friends and witness some deaths as well. So the fire red Nuzlocke actually ended yesterday as of the time I'm recording this. Um, we did well actually, only had two deaths. So whilst I'm not expecting to do better this time, I'm hoping I could at least do good. We're going to talk to our mum, who gives us almost everything that we need. And um, the stars has already been pre-picked by... Um, because I wasn't really fussed on which stars I end up getting. I just asked um, someone if they can pick for me. And that... And they chose me to have, uh, well, the sauce that they chose. Um, hmm, don't know what colour do I want it. Yeah, that's good. So we're going to get bombarded by Marrow. Is Lyra. Nothing to really say about her. But here we are. We're in New Bark Town, I believe it's called. I don't know, I just like the idea of being kicked backwards. But here we are. This is where we need to go. Right, um, so Heart Gold is probably, like, the Jota region is probably the region I know the least about, um, because I rarely ever go through this region, because in my opinion, I find it kind of boring, but the thing I do like about Heart Gold Soul Silver is that you have a Pokemon f following you the entire time, which is good. Now, which Sasa do we get? Chikorita, Cyndaquil, or Totodile. And my friend has actually chosen Totodile for us to have. Which, um, they know nothing about Pokemon as well. They only went with the po Pokemon that they thought looks the coolest, and they chose Totodile. Um, and after they picked it, I said that Totodile is probably the best Pokemon you can have in this game. In which they were happy that they actually gave me a good uh, choice. For Totodile's name... Hmm. Hmm. I... Hmm, I don't know what I can call it. Maybe...
Well, Turtle Dark is going to be like the leader of our team. So I like maybe a name that can reference the leader. So let's go with. Let's see if we can fit it in. No, we can't. Um, we're going to name our Totodile. Captain Croc. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not happy with that. I'm going to change it. <laughs> I thought it would be funny. Um... There's a, oh my gosh, okay, I actually have a female Totodile as well, so that's actually really good, especially for an upcoming gym leader. So, as a reference to Beast Quest, um, as uh, this beast is also a crocodile of sorts, we're going to name it uh, a crocodile of sorts. The only difference is the gender, but I'm not going to worry about that. We're going to name him Conval. We got Convald the Totodile. That took me nearly two minutes to think of a name. Right, so we don't have Pokeballs yet, so we don't need to worry about the Nuzlocke starting yet. I was about to say, if that was Pokeballs, I probably would have cried on the inside. No, they're potions, that's fine. Let's see Totodile's uh well combo stats. A jolly name. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is actually really good. A female Totodile with a boost in nature speed and a minor special attack nature. Oh, oh my gosh, this is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh gosh. Okay, combo, let's go. Welcome to the team. I need to actually remind myself to actually thank the person that made me, that chose Totoda for me. Because Convo is going to be a very good member to my team. But moving on, we're going to wait, don't forget to talk to my mum. Wait a sec, okay, we're coming back. Oh yeah, I left my poker gear at home, yes, because I actually remembered what that was. There we are. Something that I do find kind of funny is that I see so many playthroughs of Pokemon Heart, Gold and Soul Silver, but not once do I see anyone picking Chikorita. Um, so, whilst I also didn't pick Chikorita, um, why are you concerned about my mum? We're only leaving her behind. Um, <laughs> that is a terrible thing to say. Um... Chikorita isn't really a good Pokemon. It's good status condition wise, but um, as a battler compared to Totodile and Cyndaquil, it's nowhere near as good. Right, Route 29. Okay, and let's see what our first battle is. Ooh, Centric. Now, as we can't catch them, we're just going to attack them. Now, 
Now, unless something goes dreadfully wrong, I think this is by far one of the best starts to a Nuzlocke that can ever be given. I got a really good nature for the Totodile. Female, so I don't need to worry about Attract on a certain Gym Leader's Pokemon. And all the other stats are quite good as well. Hmm. Um, but Combo, I think, will be a very good member of the team. Um, obviously, I don't know how well we're going to do. Um, but I have high, high hopes that we'll do really good. Just exploring the route. Uh, oh, Pokeball. A potion. Yes. If we find a shiny, I'm going to be really upset because I won't be able to catch it. Oh, Rav Sada. A return. Now my defense is halved, um, I do have some potions so I'm going to use them now because I don't want to have combo go down. Whilst the Nuzlocke hasn't officially started and I'm literally just grinding just to get some more experience. I still think um, a death, uh, well a faint in here does cancel death still. So technically the Nuzlocke has officially started with the death rule. Oh no! Uh, so like I said, the Nuzlocke hasn't officially started yet, so, um, so we shouldn't, so, Combo hasn't officially died, so, it's fine, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was just training up my Pokemon, I was training up little Combo, don't worry, Combo's not dead, he's fine, see, he's just walking behind me. Come on, Tessa. We're almost there. And um, I'm not counting that death that Carnival had as a proper death because it went down to a crit. If it wasn't a crit, it would have survived. So, yeah, it's fine. I'm not salty, I promise. <laughs> and there we are, Carnival's down level 6. And water gun, nice. Water gun would not help much. But that's fine. Come on, we made it to Cherry Grove City. Time to get tackled by this old man. We're gonna keep going until we get to until we get the egg, 
and make our way back to New Bark Town, in which we'll end the episode there. Right, thank you for the tour, Cherry Grove City. It's not exactly much of a city. Okay. There is time, we're catching up. Totodile isn't fast either, or combo all meant. Thank you. Oh, a strange guy. Oh, well, now we can run. Just gonna go straight to the Pokemon Center. Heal up uh, combo. And now we're going to proceed onwards to Oak's house. Hold on, let's see. Just curious. Can we get Pokeballs here? No, we can't. Okay. I will buy some antidotes, though. Just on the off chance that we need them. Same with Paralyzed Heals. Now I've got five of each of the items available here, which are potions, antidotes, and paralyzed heals. Just on the off chance, Route 30 goes wrong. Oh, here he is again. Okay, we've got a map. Nice. Okay, I'm going now. Thank you. Hey, another potion. This isn't uh, Professor Oak's house, but I'm going to talk to him now so then we can actually get the Apricorns. We're not going to use them, but um, just for the nice to just visit there. So if you guys are playing along, then you'll know that. Every time you encounter one of these trees, you can take the top part out, which is the apricorn. And if you get enough of a certain colour, or such, you can give it to this guy in Azadia Town. And he will make uh, custom Pokeballs for you. Another antidote, nice. How have we not encountered a single Pokemon yet? Seriously? <laughs> I don't even have a rappel on. Okay, and the pink one. I like to at least have a combo up to level 7 before we encounter the rival for the game, which uh, I'm going to name Lucas yet again. Because uh, Lucas, I think, kind of resembles both blue and silver. So I thought it would be nice to name him uh, as um, Lucas. Thanks for healing my Pokemon I didn't know needed healing. Okay, Professor Oak, I get it. In the nice way, I don't want to talk anymore. I just want to go. Okay, we done? Yep, we're done. Going now. Okay, answering the call. He Hello, Adam. It's a disaster. Uh, um, It's just terrible. What should I do? It's... Oh, oh no. Please get back here now. 
Okay, we're going. We will we'll go and go back anyway. We need to give you this egg. There's no way. Oh my gosh. I made it through the entirety of that route again without a single encounter. Right, um, now, well, as it is level 6, I'm hoping Combo can actually do well against this upcoming Pokemon. But here we are. Here he is. You got a Pokemon at the lab? What a waste. That's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you. Don't get, don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. And the first battle of the run, that is the trainer battle. Now we're going to go with the uh, Leer strap, so just lower the um, defense and the lowers my attack, which is fine. So it kind of counters it out. We'll go over it again, just to lower it again. Now, this is like kind of contradicting what I do with Chicory to go with the Growls, but um, if the defense is low, then that's fine. Um, I'm going to go with it again. Okay, and that's five times I use Leer. Your attack defense, I'm now two above for the attack uh, over your defense, so the scratch should do some damage. You go another scratch, that can take it to just under half. Yep, and I think a third one will finish it off. <laughs> You're doing okay for someone weak. Am I weak? Am I really? Okay, well, hear that guys, apparently I'm weak. Well done, Combo, though, well done. Yeah, you deserve that level up. I'm really happy with this nature. <laughs> Are you happy you won? Yeah, really? Yeah, I am, really. Do you want to know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Okay. Hmm, an ID. Nice. Give it back. That's my trainer card. Oh no, you saw my name. Yeah, I saw your name. Time to heal up. <laughs> because, as we learned from previous experiences, that route that we're about to go on is deadly for a Totodile. Or a combo, at least. Okay, now we're on our way back to New Bark Town. And avoided all the grass, nice. Here we are. Who are you? We are investigating the case of the missing Pokemon here. Rule number one, whoever did it will come back to the site. Oh my, so you must be the one who did it. No! Hold on a second, he has nothing to do with it. <laughs> yeah, I got his name. And the culprit who stole... That Pokemon is known as Lucas. Lucas is a thief. Bad Lucas. Yes, it was his name. Right, and um, so we're going to finish this conversation with Professor Realm, then we're going to call it a day with the uh, Nuzlocke. Okay, 
Okay, come on. Come on, done. Yeah, we're done. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Have I been given Pokeballs yet? No, I haven't. Okay. I need to talk to the mum, and when I am able to leave, that's when we're gonna, like, go and call it over the episode. Yes, you can save my money, because uh, you give us good stuff. You give us good, good stuff. Okay, that's it. And I will call it a day right here. So with that being said, that's all for this time. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of the Pokemon Heart Gold Nuzlocke. And I will see you next time. Goodbye. Gotta catch them all.